Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we are going to be reviewing my June 2020 Tribe Beauty Box, and then unboxing the August box. I'm just doing this one in like this top-down style. I'm currently recovering from a migraine, and <laughs> I don't look the best right now. And um, I really just wanted to film this because I want to bust these products out, start using them, start testing them, and I want to give you guys my thoughts on everything that I got in the previous box. So let's go ahead and jump in. As always, we will start with reviewing the products from the previous box and I've got the card right here. So the first was this chocolate box palette from Lorac Pro. This is actually a very nice palette. Some of these shades are hit or miss, specifically the matte shades. The shimmer shades I actually liked, but like Honey Nut, this like kind of orange shade, is very pigmented and really nice. But then there were a couple of other shades that I really had to like build up and use. So the mattes are hit or miss, but I really liked the shimmers. I like the, the color story too. It's a neutral palette, but it's not boring. It's not a boring neutral palette. And I do like the highlighters. Honestly, this, this would be like a really great like traveling palette because you've also got some great multitasking brown shades around here. Yeah, overall, I think this was a palette that was worth it. Uh, I'm glad that I got to try a different brand. That's kind of the whole point of me getting this box is so that I can expand my horizons, my makeup horizons. So I will, I will be holding on to this palette. I do enjoy it and I'm glad that I got it in this box. The next product on the card is this Glam Lash XXL Mascara. I haven't opened this up yet because I had just opened up a mascara when we got this. So I am going to open it. Well, not open it. I'm going to take it out of the box and put it into my everyday makeup basket because I think for September, I think I have to swap out my mascara. So I'm going to do that and I'll bring this one in so I can actually like test it. And I am trying to be very strict with like the three month rule when it comes to mascaras. So um, if anything, I'll probably review this when I review the new box in a couple of months. So make sure you check out my next video after this if you want to see the review on the uh, mascara. Next we have the Rose Illuminating Glow Peel Off Mask. And quite honestly, just because my skin does not work great with this brand, I did a couple of test strips or test, you know, testings with this and it just it didn't react well with my skin and also I don't know if you can see but like the packaging like bleeds like I have random pink splotches around the packaging because I don't know and that was just me just like handling the product <laughs> so really not a fan of this um I don't I only used it a few times and I just didn't react well to it I don't want to get rid of it I'll probably stick this um in my like giveaway drawer actually I need to go and clean out like my um giveaway slash like friends and family um drawer that I have in my collection let me know if you guys want to see a video on that because I actually had a lot of stuff stashed away that I was going to send to friends and family and stuff but because of COVID it's just been sitting there um so I feel like I should probably go go through it again and see if I want to put anything back into my collection or put together a giveaway but anyway, that's where this is going. Unfortunately, it just did not work for me. But I do know now I am just going to avoid this brand because I've tried two products. Both products just were not for me. Next, let's talk about these mini face masks. I was actually like pretty confused at first about what they meant by mini face masks. So this is what it is. Essentially, they're tiny little sheet masks. I have to say they're very adorable. I looked so cute with these on. I'll throw a picture up right here of what I looked like when I just shoved a bunch of these onto my face. But they didn't do anything for my skin. Like they just felt like they were they it felt like they were more for show. I didn't feel my skin like get any benefits from this. It I didn't feel hydrated. I didn't feel clean. I didn't feel anything. Like there it was clearly like you you're supposed to pop these on and take like a cute Instagram photo. It's not like anything skincare benefit -y. Um which is kind of a shame. I do love sheet masks and I was kind of sad to see that it wasn't it was more for show. But um I mean it was cute and I'll, I will finish this. Um it's just not something I would personally pick up because when I look for a sheet mask. Um, I like to find something that's really moisturizing and this just wasn't it. All right and the last product in this box was this kind of surprise sleeper hit. So this is from Pure Cosmetics and this is the Velvet Matte Liquid Lipstick and this is in the shade Innocent and I like that this I think this is the full size but I like how it's like kind of mini like a, a 
compared to my hand. This is a very nice size for a lip product. I loved the shade. I will say the shade looks so much different on application than it does in the bottle. So it, it does look a lot darker on me, on my complexion. Um, but I love the I like the lipstick. It's really comfortable. It's really pigmented. This is perfect for fall. I think this was an awesome inclusion um, and I'm definitely going to be reaching for it in the fall. The only thing I don't like about it is the applicator. So um, it, I don't know if, think it'll come up on camera but it's kind of fuzzy towards the edges of the applicator. It just makes it hard to get a clean lip line out of this. So if anything um, I would probably the next time I wear this use a lip brush just to get the clean edges. But overall, I'm actually glad I got to try this, and I do love the shade that I got. So that was everything in my June box. So I would, let's just say, overall, I really liked the palette. I haven't tried the mascara yet. The skin chemist was a dud. The lipstick was really nice, and then the sheet masks were meh meh. So, you know, overall, I think this was a positive box. Now to unbox this month's box. And I have to say, I really do like the, um bubble mailer. So, ooh, so I got some sneak peeks and I'm really excited. So I will say first off, um, I did get in, um, I believe, uh, in a timely manner, they had the option for palettes. Um, and I believe it was between this uh, Lake Como palette and what was the other palette? Do they have it on here? No, because they, they did it so that you only get the one palette. Um, that you picked but I was so excited for this palette so let's read a little bit about it this retails for $27 um, this is from Nomad Cosmetics velvety soft and blendable eyeshadows formulated with extra fine pigments nine fresh rich shades inspired by a living La Dolce Vita at Lake Como in the summertime five mattes four shimmer finishes infused with organic grapeseed oil for vibrant and long wearing color well first of all this packaging is adorable and can I open this without chipping a nail? Okay, look how pretty. Ooh. Ooh, look at these shades. This one in particular. Oh. Mm. This looks so pretty. I just like I, I just want to dig my fingers in, but I want to take some cute pictures of this before I do that. But this looks gorgeous. This is such a cute palette, and I'm glad that I was able to get this one because I was definitely more drawn towards this one because of the greens and the blues than the other palette because the other palette was much more um, neutrally. So I'm really excited to try that out. So I think that, that I'm super excited for that one. We'll move the box over here. So next, oh yeah, so they do have the other palette. The other palette was from Glam Light, and it was the Caliente palette. So I'm, I am glad that I got the Lake Cuomo because uh, it's from a brand I haven't tried before, even though I, I've tried Glam Light cosmetics. So I'm glad I got to get the Nomad one so I could try that one out. Let's see. Oh, so let's, let's go into the big bottle. Whoa, that's big. Look at this. And this is the Habanera Marinella Marinea. No, I cannot pronounce anything, guys. This is the Oak Moss and Coconut Buddy Buddy Body Shimmering Oil. $36. I think that's a bit much, but let's read. A shimmering elixir that will nourish your skin with a powerful and beneficial combination of oils and give you the ultimate summer glow. Man, I don't know if Casper needs to be glowing. Uh, each is custom blended for you by hand in small batches at the Marinea Soap Bar in Soho, New York. Shake well before use. Ooh. Let's try and give this a little swatchy swatch. Ooh, okay. So let's do a ooh, very gold. Oh, that actually blended in nicely. I don't really see a. I mean, it's like a nice sheen. You know, I actually like that. I was kind of expecting, quite honestly, I was expecting like glitter to be infused in it, but it just feels very hydrated. Ooh, so that's actually already exceeded my expectations. Oh, don't know if it's $36 worth, but oh, I'm excited. I'll probably use this most likely like on my legs and my arms then. But it did soak in fairly quickly. So you can see if there is any difference in the hands. <laughs> Next we have some brushes from Luxie Beauty and I'm pretty excited about this. I love Dio Fiber brushes and I see one right there. So let's see, we have the uh, 616 Rose Gold Duo Fiber Brush. I love this for blending out 
um, contour. So that's really nice. It feels really good. And then this one is the Precision Foundation Brush. You know, if anything, this looks like it could also be used like for um, blush and maybe for like a bigger all over highlighting. It's cute and I, I do like that we got two different colors and they do kind of match. They're very cute. I've tried a few Luxie Beauty brushes before. They're so soft. They're really nice. So I'm really excited to just play with these and swap, you know, switch up my kind of stale brush routine. But oh, they're so pretty. And the Duo Fiber brush retails for $25 and the foundation brush retails for $23. Oh, so, so far, a lot of things I'm actually really excited about. This might be like an awesome box so far. Let's see. Next we have uh, from Wander Beauty. This is a double date lip and cheek. Ooh, it's a multitasking duo featuring sheer tint and clear shimmer free balm for moisturized lips, cheeks, and eyes. The double tiered compact with a built up built in mirror is perfect for staying gorgeous on the go. Well, I am not going anywhere, but I'm excited because it seems like this is a cream product for lip and cheek, which I have been loving. Ooh. Oh, okay, look at the look at the packaging. That is stunning. How pretty is that? So this is the first color, or is it? Is there two colors? I did say a duo, so that's the first one. And oh, and then the other one is just a clear balm. Huh. So that's, I do like how it's kind of separated like that. So instead of it being one product for lip and cheek, you've got, I'm assuming this is the cheek, and this would be the lip. And then you've got a mirror on the bottom. Hello. <laughs> oh, this looks so cute. I'm excited to try this color. Let me, you know what? I'm going to swatch the color. <gasps> Ooh. <sighs> Look at that color. Oh, that, and it feels nice too. Oh, that's exciting. That is very exciting. I have to say, that is something that is so, like, on point. It's on trend. I love that. And I'm really excited to try that out. I've tried a few other products from Wonder Beauty, so it's not a totally new brand for me, but I'm really excited for this. So last and certainly not least, we have, oh, there's 24 in here. Whoa. And it is a resealable bag. This is from Corsex, and this is the Acne Pimple Master Patch, which I could definitely use. I'm gonna break it out. <laughs> Multiple award-winning pimple patch. Protects wounded or troubled area from getting worse and maintains humid humidity of skin to prevent further breakouts. I'm excited to try this out. I've been seeing a lot of like ads and people using these kind of patches, and I could definitely use them. And I do like that it, there's 24 of them, so that'll last me a bit. And I do like that it is re a resealable package. So there we have it. That is everything in the August box. I have to say, I think this is the first time I've been literally like super excited for every product. We've got this awesome eyeshadow palette with the colors that are just stunning. I've got this oil that seems very moisturizing and very cute. We have a um, lip and cheek balm. We've got some awesome brushes and then we've got some acne treatment patches. This so far, I mean, I don't want to jinx anything, but this could be a like 10 out of 10 box. But I do want to make sure I fully test everything and so I can so I can review everything for you guys in the next boxing video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below what you thought of these products and if you are still getting any subscription boxes, how they're treating you recently. Thank you guys for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.